Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I really wanna to talk to you guys all about my favorite social media wellness tips. So in case you guys haven't seen my last two videos, I announced kind of why I took a one month hiatus on social media and my recent ADHD diagnosis. And with these two big things happening in my life, I really wanted to give you guys some actual social media wellness tips that you can start to implement in your life that aren't fluffy. These are things that you can actually do and things that I'm actually giving you permission for. Listen, I'm a social media strategist. I'm on social media what well, feels like 24 seven, and this is my job, my career, and my passion, but that doesn't mean that I still don't get burnt out by it. I know as a content creator, as a business owner, and as a person, you can probably get burnt out by social media too. So there are some really key things here that you can do to minimize how social media makes you feel while maximizing the impact on your business or on your platform. So tip number one, this is one that I implemented when I started taking on social media clients back in the day is to turn off your notifications. I know it's gonna hurt at first because we love that instant boost of uh, dopamine, endorphins, whatever the word is. We love that little hit there that makes you feel good when a notification pops in, when somebody likes your Instagram post, when somebody comments on your post, when somebody sends you a DM. We get that in our brain and it signals happiness or fulfillment or whatever that does for you we need to minimize that because you're going to instantly instantly be looking at your phone, looking at social media platforms when you're feeling a little bit low, when you're feeling a little bit down to try and get that hit, that, that, that feel good feeling. For me, it was a necessity at first because when I started taking on clients and I had a million different profiles on a million different accounts, when I had notifications on, it would drain my cell phone battery. So at first it was like just a necessity thing, um, but now it is something that I will never turn back on even just for my social, my personal social platforms, I do not have any notifications turned on. So the only notifications that pop through for me are messages and phone calls, and that's it. I've turned off every single other app, any notification. And what this helps me do is I'm not reaching for my phone every time I see it light up or every time I hear that notification sound, which I silence my phone during the day because we don't need that energy either. Um, you know, making sure that I'm not looking for and kind of setting myself up for failure. I don't want to say failure, but you know what I mean? Uh, it basically gives me an out saying, I don't need to look at these notifications until I tap in to that app, which leads me into point number two. Listen, I know there are so many social media gurus out there. There's so many mental health uh, professionals out there that tell you just no binging on social media. Like don't just sit there and scroll, blah, 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 blah. I want to give you permission to scroll, um, you know, because that is what social media is all about. Uh, you know, sometimes we just need a quick, let me shut my brain off. And I was always the person I've pitched this in the past and I've started to change my mindset around this is I was like, okay, if you're going to scroll, at least be active. And sometimes I know my brain can't even do that. Sometimes I literally just want to binge watch TikTok videos. TikTok videos, I don't even comment on them because sometimes I'm like, this is just too much. I want to shut my brain off for a little bit. So again, what I used to preach to people is like, okay, every couple of posts, make sure you're liking, make sure you're commenting. Now, I, you know what? If you want to do that, you do it. You do you, boo-boo. But what I would like to tell you is putting a cap on the binge watching or setting a specific time for you to do so. So for instance, I really do not try and get into social media apps unless I'm logged in for a client throughout the daytime. Uh, that is just a rule that I've set for myself. The only time I'll go on to TikTok for personal use, Instagram for personal use is throughout the day is if I'm posting. Um, but if I want to binge, I try and do so Sometimes on lunch hour, if I, I do allow myself like 10 to 15 minutes while something's cooking in the oven or while I'm waiting for delivery or out and about getting something, that's a time during the day that I'll, I'll allow myself to do that. But then at nighttime and not right before bed, 
while you're cooking dinner, while you're just kind of hanging out, give myself, I'll sometimes give myself 10, 15, even 20 minutes to just binge and enjoy social media for what it is because I turned it into a job for so long and it is my job that I stopped enjoying social media for what it is. So that is tip number two is just to allow yourself to binge. It's okay. And number three, this is counterintuitive to everything I've preached before, to everything that everybody's preached before. If you feel super, super down, uh, if you are not in a good mental health space, if you have so many things going on in your life, simply just don't post on social media. And that is exactly what happened for me over this last month is that I had so much going on in my personal life, so much going on in my business life that I just refrained from posting because I knew that the content that I put out there would A, not feel authentic, would be forced, would be pushed out. It just wouldn't feel like me. And that is not my brand. If you want to do that, by all means, go for it. Um, but I just decided I don't want to post. I am not in the mood to post. I can't bring myself to post, to write a caption. And you guys, I have all this bank of content that I could just shove out there again. And it was just something that it didn't sit right with me. It didn't feel right. So you are allowed to take a break. And just to give you a little bit of a story here, I noticed there were so many TikTok creators that I, were, I was following that were in similar industries to me or in the same industry as me. And they all took a break, especially on TikTok uh, over the summer. And people were just like, I'm burnt out. So I think as a collective, collectively, we're all feeling a little burnt out on social media. Um, so if you don't feel like posting, fine. By all means, you don't have to. So just to recap, the three tips I wanted to leave with you today is one, turn off your notifications. Two, allow yourself to binge with a time limit. And number three, make sure that if you don't feel good, you don't have to post on social media. If you guys have any questions, please hit me with them in the comment section below. And as always, I will see you guys next week.